Hey everyone, it is me, TNT, and I'm back with another, um, video. It's, I, it's not technically an episode. Um, and I'm doing actually a tutorial, which I have not done for a while. Um, I was requested to do a tutorial by Epic Narwhal, I'm pretty sure his name is. Um, but I'm actually not doing the requested tutorial. He asked for a farm. Uh, this is a tutorial that I've been just I've been really, really wanting to do. Um, it does require one command block. You may be, I'm not that smart at this sort of stuff, so you might be able to find a different way to do it where you don't need a command block, but yeah. Um, so anyways, you can tell that we're in 1.15 snapshots because of all the bees flying around, so there are a lot of glitches. Um, so if you see anything weird, keep that in mind and even report it. Um, to Minecraft's bug fixers stuff. Um, but anyways, let's get on to the tutorial. And what I'm actually going to be showing you guys is how to build this. Now this is a bazooka. Um, so it basically shoots out a lot of bees. So this is the one command block that you'll need. Uh, you don't need any of this stuff right here. Um, this is just to make things go a little bit smoother. <laughs> um, so this is just to fill up the chamber with bees. And you can see in here, if we if we take a little look, it looks like there's one single bee, but trust me, that is about 300 bees in that one block right there. Uh, but if we come over here and we press this button, or actually, no, 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 we should go over here and press this button, that way we'll be teleported and it'll also fire the cannon. You can see, just give it a second, a bunch of bees just get shot out and that's why my computer was so laggy because there's so many dang bees over here <laughs> uh, and you can see you can get really far distances I'm pretty sure the farthest I've ever gone is about 180 blocks uh, which is yeah that's pretty far <laughs> if you ask me um, so it's, it's yeah yeah uh, now it's probably good to note that I'm also building uh, recording this at a later date so if you see anything that isn't here in the ne next clips that's that's why. So basically what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna first show you guys like the process that I went through in order to see if this would work and whatnot. And then I'm actually gonna go to the tutorial. Uh, but there should be a timestamp on screen right now. So if you just wanna skip to the tutorial, I totally get that. I, I do that a lot. So yeah, but if you wanna see the process, then uh, continue forward. So first thing that I did was I actually put a bunch of bees in here and press this button and well, I think you know what's about to happen. Um, seeing if they can survive, basically, TNT Blast. Um, so obviously, they can't. From a, a single piece of TNT could kill every single one of them. But there is such thing as the Turtle mas Master. And I tried to get all the bees like have Turtle Master on them. It did not work out. Um, so I tried a new approach instead of a big room of obsidian. I did this, and yes, this is not cursed Minecraft. There are um, barrier blocks right here, and then this is filled with Turtle Master, and these command blocks do some fun things. So basically, uh, what I did is I put Resistance three in here, but if we press this button, it'll give it to me two. It's actually Resistance four, um, and that's you would not imagine how big of a difference that makes. <laughs> so basically, if we go in and change this to actually keep it like that and we summon a bee um, right in that little box right here wait until he gets up and then we press uh, this button to give him uh, resistance 4 and then we press this button the bee's gone <laughs> now you guys might be saying though that was a bunch of TNT I mean seriously if we go and chat psh, so much TNT um, but I mean like what if we don't need that much I mean we're only using quite a well quite a few pieces of TNT here but not that many well if we go right here this will splash out turtle master on him and also uh, get one TNT into the chamber and explode it and that's about all this chain does but if we look he survives a single piece of TNT. If we press it again, that's two pieces of TNT and he immediately dies. So what we need is command blocks. Now you might be saying just give him resistance 500, but the thing is, all we really need to do is give him resistance 5. Look, okay, we have resistance 5, so if we summon a B and we give him resistance 5 and press this, 
he survived somehow. <laughs> I, I don't understand how at all. <laughs> but he does. Um, and I can press it again. He survives. Press it again. I think... Oh, he survived again. And then I think this is when he dies. Oh, nope, nope, nope. Y'all get the point. <laughs> so, he's, he'll survive for a very, very long time. And I did mess around with uh, beacons and whatnot too, seeing if anything would work to get it up to uh, resistance 5, but nope. Sadly, you do have to use command blocks for that. So, it was on to the next part, and that was to make the actual cannon itself. Um, so, what's happening here basically is the output's right here, so you know, basically you could put a button there or hook it up to command blocks or whatever. And yeah, uh, oh, I never killed that bee. That's the resistance it went to. Uh, but anyways, basically what's gonna happen here is it goes into this repeater just to make sure it reaches all the way to where it has to reach, but I'm sure if we took that out, it'd be fine. Uh, but anyways, then all these dispensers get um, powered and they have TNT in them. And that redstone line also goes to here. Now this is an exact number of ticks, it's supposed to be, from my understanding, exactly 36, uh, and it works, so this is 9 repeaters right here, all set to 4 ticks, and then what's happening here is this is being powered, this block, which is powering uh, this command block, which is giving all the bees resistance 500 to 150, uh, but you can change that to 5, it doesn't really matter as long as it's more than 4 or actually as long as it's more than three. Four is technically resistance five. Uh, but anyways, then what's happening here is this is also getting powered. This is supposed to be set to um, two ticks, or is that three? That's three. Um, and then this is also being powered. This um, makes the signal last longer. Now it's very important that these are set to the right ticks because uh, what this piston is doing is it's retracting this block which is allowing the TNT to flow to, towards the bees and that uh, way bees don't get stuck up here by flying and doing weird stuff. Uh, and then this piston is moving this half slab right here so that when the cannon actually fires the bees will be uh, shut out and not hit that slab and go nowhere. <laughs> uh, and it's important that we have that slab or else bees would be flying out of the cannon and it would be a big mess and you just wouldn't get many bees at all uh, getting shot out. So that's, both of these are very important and that is basically everything. It's not that complicated, although it looks incredibly complicated because I don't know how to compact things down. <laughs> uh, so yeah. Let's get on to the tutorial now. Uh, it should be pretty easy. Now to get started, uh, we need to look at materials. So this is everything that you will need. Of course, you probably won't have to gather any of this because you're, you're gonna have to get a command block. So that means creative mode and whatnot. Uh, but anyways, it requires 22 redstone dust, 17 repeaters, two comparators, two sticky pistons, two torches, redstone torches, uh, one slab, uh, one command block, 64 or more blocks of your choice, just get a lot of blocks, uh, and then however many bees that you want. Uh, I would highly suggest using spawn eggs, or maybe you could... Wait, let me try something. Okay, so theoretically you could get a bee's nest with silk touch uh, that has bees in it, and then you place it down and you break it, and then all the bees will come out, but not in like a area so like you have to you have to build enough a big enough room so where they'll spawn in it and then you have to push them with pistons inside of the contraption and it would be a such a mess and you'll still need this command block um so yeah probably not worth it but theoretically you could get the bees in survival anyways back to the tutorial so first you want to decide how high up you want your cannon to be um so the bit the barrel as you can call it um is going to be one block higher than wherever you place this block. So I'm going to build mine right here, so my bees are going to go where this block is. Um, and then what you want to do is you want to bring this back so that it equals 11 blocks. So this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And once you have that, you want to come on preferably this side if your cannon is facing that direction. Um, so if you're facing towards the cannon, go on the left side preferably, or just mirror what I'm going to be doing in the um, following steps and then um, just fill that in to the end 
and then over here you want to leave two blocks and then you actually want to place dispenser uh, six dispensers so you can put some temporary blocks like that and then one two three four four five six and you want to fill these in with TNT in the future uh, it's up to you if you want to risk it and do it now or not uh, but then once you have that you want to fill in these two blocks and then you can leave this open or you can fill it it's up to you you're gonna have to take out like two blocks later for pistons um, but I'll just I'll just fill it in right now and then uh, you can fill in the top if you'd like um, but prefer, you should probably do this before you do your dispensers so that you can get them facing the correct way. So now you want to take the farthest block out and you also want to take the uh, block closer to the dispensers out and you want to come out two blocks from each side so that way you can place a sticky piston like that and like that and actually I should have kept that block <laughs> and then you can just destroy those two blocks there. Now on this sticky piston you want to put a slab of any choice I'm just gonna go for a good old oak slab and uh, you can face it so that's up but you preferably should face it uh, so it's uh, on the downside and then on this piston right here you just want a solid block like that and that's it for layout so now what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on actual redstone and once again it's not it's not complicated at all I figured this out I, I made this m design myself and I'm really bad at redstone. Uh, so what you want to do is you want to get some uh, repeaters out and some redstone out. And you want to just lay the repeaters like this for every single dispenser. And then also you want to come around here and you also want to cover that up first of all. And just, you know, put a button. Uh, you don't have to put, press the button at the very back. I just put it at the very back because... I don't actually have a good reason on why I put it on the back, but I do. Uh, but you can put it here, or you can put it right here. It doesn't matter as long as this stretch of redstone right here is getting the signal and not some wacky place uh, like, I don't know, up here maybe. This will just fire that dispenser. Oh, well actually, yeah, I'm, I'm stupid. <laughs> now coming off of the third dispenser right here. Um, you want to start on a 3 by 7 area, and of course if you built this one the floor lower, you can just use the ground. Uh, but then this is basically going to be the delay, so since the uh, TNT was dispensed to these pistons opening, um, this is where all that delay is going to be. So what you want to do is you want to come 2 redstone out, and then place 4 repeaters like this, and make sure they're all set to 4 ticks. This is very important, so you don't blow up your bees and stuff <laughs> and then uh, you want to go across like this with your redstone and you want to go back in the other direction so once again uh, four repeaters just like that all set to four ticks now from here what you want to do is you just want to place a block like that um, redstone dust grab a repeater put this onto four ticks and then you want to grab out a block um, I'm going to use yellow wool for this and that is just going to have this repeater powering that block and on top of this block you want to um, put a command block. Now to get a command block what you want to do is you want to just put um, press T to go into chat, do slash give at P and then just start typing a command and once it pops up uh, all you have to do is hit tab and then enter and you'll get a command block in either your hotbar or over here um, and then you just want to place that command block on top of this block of your choice and inside of here I'll put a um, I'll put this in the description so, so you can just copy and paste if you want uh, but if not what you want to do is just type effect and then give um, at E and then you want to do these brackets right here and then type in type equals B and then come out of these brackets and then type in um, resistance or you can t uh, press the down arrow by just and then press tab and then you want to put for 10 space and then you want to put um, at least uh, the number four if not above and then if you want you can also type in true so that particles will be hidden from the bees uh, and then just press done and that should be it for the command block and now basically what's going to happen is when this um, gets power it's going to give all bees in the world or that are loaded in the world uh, resistance uh, for I believe I put it for 10 seconds yeah 
Uh, so you just want to put at least more than one second in there, I'm pretty sure. Just do like five to be sure. And then that's it for the command block. Now what you want to do is start powering these pistons. So uh, for this one, what you want to do is place a block underneath it and then resto torch going directly into it. And then for this piston right here, what you want to do is you want to place a block like this and have a redstone torch on the side like a comp that's powering the uh, piston from the side instead of from the bottom uh, so that's how the uh, pistons are being powered now over back at your command block over here what you want to do is place a redstone um, dust just going right there and this is going to be going up into this block right here and it's going to be going into here um, so this one's really easy, just do a repeater going like that on one tick. And then for this one, what you want to do is just come a few blocks out like that, and then have redstone dust going up on it, on this block, and then a repeater set to three ticks. Uh, it's important that that sets three ticks so that your bees have time, uh, this has, the, your bees have time to basically get launched out before a TNT gets blown. It, just make sure it's set to three ticks. <laughs> That's the main uh, thing. And then what you want to do is grab out some comparators. And you want to place these like so. So basically coming off of this dust right here, you want to place one. And then facing the other way, you also want to place one. Uh, this one should be going into a block. And then there should be dust like that. And that's how um, it works. The, uh, this Basically this will extend the pulse. Uh, this doesn't have to be a block. If you want to be extra safe, then you should make it a block. In this case, I'm just going to make it a orange wool block. Now, the last thing that you want to do, and this is very important, is to get out some water. And you want to place it right here. And also, you might want to cover up that so that all the water is pushing in that direction. And then just close it up and fill all this up with TNT is the last part. Um, but before you do that, I would highly suggest just testing it out. You know, make sure everything's looking good, and that does look good in my opinion. Uh, so yeah, let's fill it in with bees and with um, some TNT. Um, act you, you do actually want to um, extend this at least one block, uh, but yeah, from there you just press the button. Now, keep in mind, I am not reliable for any damage this may cause to your property. Uh, re please read the term and service that don't exist, uh, but still. I'm not held responsible for any damage done to your base. Anyways, press the button, and theoretically, you should see... Yes! That looked really good! Uh, so now let's fill it in with bees. Now, I, this is a half slab right here, so that you can actually, you know, fill it in with bees without having to having bees flying all over the place. Um, and if you look up... And to the left, I showed this a little bit earlier, I don't know if you guys skipped ahead, you can see the entity count and that's how many are in your vision. Uh, so if you don't have any other entities in the world, uh, then that's how many bees are in the chamber. If you do have other entities and you know how many, then you just have to subtract those. Uh, but anyways, let's give this a real, real test. And yes, it worked. It has worked. Uh, so yeah, that is... That's how you make your very own bazooka. Um, I find this incredibly fun. Definitely one of my favorite contraptions uh, that I have built. And I know it, it's very large, but um, I'm sure many of you guys are way better at redstone and will be able to compact this down a lot. So feel free to use um, this tutorial to make your own tutorial on how to compact it. Um, that'd be great. And also, if you do do that, uh, then leave a comment to a link and I will take that link and put it to uh, put a comment going to that link and now sponsor time so um, yeah so guess what guess what guys you won't believe it sticky pistons is like my sponsor now like they're sponsoring me like not just one video not like just like this event like videos like they're my sponsor now so yeah anyways <laughs> Sticky Piston is a Minecraft server hosting company that offers amazing and powerful servers for a great price. Sticky Piston also has many different types of servers to choose from such as vanilla, modded Minecraft, minigame maps, and more. They also have a great and easy way to control your server so you don't have to go through all these different web pages and whatnot. 
Um, it's also great for be beginners like myself at making your own server. Um, and if you do get confused with anything, uh, their customer support is great and they can help you with almost any problem that you could have. Uh, so there's a link in the description if you want to go check them out, and I highly suggest you should because I'm not, uh, they're not sponsoring me because like, they're like, oh, I want to sponsor you. No, I actually want them to sponsor me because I think, I believe, I really love their product and I think that they're doing a great job with it. Um, so yeah, definitely go check them out. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, if you guys like the video, then hit that like button. And if you guys want to see, um, more tutorials th like this, then uh, hit that subscribe button. Also, if you want to see my Let's Plays, because that's the most thing that you'll see if you subscribe to me. Uh, but also, leave a comment if you want to see more tutorials. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching, and goodbye!